Now, an initiative to get more youth into the IT industry using coding apps is targeting 10,000 learners in February as well as March. The Lever Foundation created Coding for Youth in partnership with computing science professor Jean Grayling from Nelson Mandela University. For more on this, Jackson Chabalala, operations manager at the Lever Foundation, joins us live. Good afternoon, Jackson, and thank you very much for your time. You know, I always say COVID exposed South Africa's general digital illiteracy. It Honestly exposed us. We're clearly nowhere near uh, being part of the fourth industrial revolution. Just talk to me about yeah. this project of yours, though. Yeah, you're so right, Pony. That's the sad truth, right? We are in the fourth industrial revolution, but we're still struggling with uh, certain concepts, especially COVID has shown us. So, what we're trying to do really is, in a simple form, introduce coding concepts uh, to learners all around Africa and the reason we do this is because we can do it without computers. So we have a game, and uh, it actually has puzzle pieces. And these puzzle pieces have QR codes on them. And then we use our phones, and we take pictures on these uh, uh, puzzle pieces. And it actually allows the game to uh, follow instructions. So it's a great way of teaching coding concepts without the use of computers. So it's called unplugged coding. Sure. No, very impressive. And which apps does one use with this? So there are three apps that we have. Uh, the first one and the original app is the Tanks uh, app that we have. And it was uh, developed by Byron Batterson as part of his honors project at NMU. It's got 35 levels of complexity. And also it introduces coding concepts such as loops and nested structures and if statements. It's a really, really cool one. And then we have two others that have been developed uh, called the Ranges which focuses more on wildlife and uh, especially focus on anti-poaching. And then we have boats, which really focuses on marine life and solar power. So we don't just want to make it fun for coding, but we also want to teach people uh, environmental awareness. We want to teach them how to uh, care for animals and many different life lessons in our coding projects. Mm -hmm. We don't think coding is just for use of computer, but it can really develop how we live life holistically. Mm, no, most certainly. But 10,000, that's a tall feat. How do you honestly plan to yeah. achieve that and who are your implementing partners? All right. So uh, this uh, uh, project that we have is called Future 10K. We're trying to reach 10,000 learners in February and March. And it's sponsored by AWS and Communities. And uh, we are partnering uh, with many, many uh, different people. We have Lalibela Game Reserve. We have Joburg Libraries, we have Radio, uh, Radio Sonda Fensa, and it's really, really great. And um, Lever Foundation is actually the global rollout partner in this whole thing. So we have coding evangelists all over the country and also in other countries uh, in Africa. So such as uh, Kenya, Uganda, Ghana, Botswana, Nigeria, and all of these people, we call them our coding evangelists. They're taking coding to schools, non-profit organizations and communities all over. So we will make it happen. Mm -hmm. So again, just refresh uh, my memory on the criteria for those that are interested. How will it work? If they're interested, they can just contact me, uh, jackson at leverfoundation.org, uh, and they can just let me know that they're interested in joining this program. It is open to everyone. The great thing about this project is that you don't need experience in coding, you don't need to be a programmer. You can just join us and we can really take uh, coding everywhere because there's a huge shortage in, uh, in coding uh, and computer software developers in South Africa. And it's really great to, uh, to really reach the job market because many people are looking for uh, software developers, but not a lot of people are encouraging young people to follow and pursue such a career. Mm, We've no, seen it, it is in, important uh, to COVID. pursue such. It is important to pursue yeah. such so as we move to the to fourth industrial revolution. And I mean, with COVID exactly. anyway, it's exposed us even faster. We need to use technology more often now because we have all these hybrid setups. So it will certainly be beneficial. Thank you very much, Jackson, for that. That yes. was operations manager at Lever Foundation, Jackson Chabalala. Now, the South